Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Friday, October 12th, the year 2012. I think we have about three weeks to the election. And I think that there's a lot of debate going on about boycotting the election because Mitt Romney and Obama are just one and the same. You know, my fellow Americans, this is it's too serious. We cannot reelect Obama. We, we have to do whatever it takes to make sure that he loses the election. Now, I don't mean doing anything illegally. No, no, don't do anything that's illegal. No, I'm talking about we need to get people who are going to stay away from the polls to get up, go to the polls, and vote against Obama. In other words, vote for Mitt Romney. Now, you Ron Paul supporters, my heart's with you. And if this was any other time, I would be voting for Ron Paul, even if I had to write him in. But I think this country's at the brink. We're on the edge. And if we don't stop Obama now, he's going to take us over the edge. I could be wrong. But that's my firm belief. Now, some of my friends say, well, you know what Mormons are? They're evil, the Illuminati. And you know what? I told them, I don't care. I said I would vote for Lucifer himself just to make sure Obama didn't get in. Now, of course, that's in quotes. Um, the point I'm trying to make is we cannot re-elect Obama. It would be the end of America as we know it. Or it would be so crippled that it would take generations for it to come back, if it could ever come back. In fact, I saw something on Facebook saying that mathematically it's impossible for us to pay the debt. Now, if that's true, we're in for a heap of trouble. Because you know what happens if you don't pay your debt. You know, Rocco comes over and maybe he, uh, he knocks on your door and says, pay the debt. And if you don't have the money tomorrow, we're going to have to start breaking things. Whether it's your window or your, your leg. Something's going to get broken. It's just the way it is. And I mean, How long is China going to put up with this mess? One of the things I read, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but Obama's doing his best to take our nuclear arsenal down to zero. We will be a sitting duck. We won't be able to protect ourselves. Seems like we're the only country that's not developing nuclear weapons. Our nukes are old. And if this report is correct, we don't have the means here anymore because the EPA shut them down. Sounds like this country's just about been neutered in more ways than one. And I think Ron Paul needs to do the right thing. Or least what I consider to be the right thing. He needs to tell his supporters that they should vote against Obama by voting for Mitt Romney. It's not about falling in line or falling in line with the politics of the platform of the Republican Party. No, this isn't about party partisanship or politics. This is about saving America. Bigger picture. It's that serious. And for my fellow YouTubers who are urging people not to vote, I understand your heart's in the right place, but your tactics and your strategy is going to fail. You might say, you might come to me with a counter argument and say, do you really think we're going to be better off if Romney's in there? My answer to that is, 
He said, I don't think we'll be worse off. But if Obama wins again, I think he's going to just sink this country. If he gets to elect or appoint another Supreme Court judge, you know how many freedoms we'll lose? Second Amendment, probably kiss it goodbye. Along with the 4th, the 14th, the 6th, the 1st. All in the name of security. Basically, he just wants to rip up the Constitution. I think I did that video that somebody said it's old-fashioned, out of date. The problem is, to me, those principles, those founding principles, aren't out of date. Yes, we need a balanced budget amendment. And yes, I think we also need term limits, even though I think no consecutive terms would be better than term limits. So you go in for one term, then you can't run again for any office until a cycle of terms. So that way we don't have entrenched politicians. We don't have politicians who know how to work the system. Because the system doesn't need to be worked. It just needs to work. And there's a big difference. I hope you understand that. So, my fellow Americans, especially if you're preppers, I'm pretty sure you don't want Obama to win. I know I don't. The best chance we have of Obama not winning is to vote for Mitt Romney. And it's that simple. It's that simple. Obama isn't running on his record because he his record's dismal. Failure after failure. But it seems wherever Romney's gone, he's made money. And some of you think it's wrong to make money, or he's making it off of the poor people or something, then I don't think you really understand business. Business is about profit. Nothing more, nothing less. If you don't make a profit, you don't stay in business. And it seems as though Mitt Romney has been able to get things done where others haven't been able to, where they've made a mess of things. Will he be able to get this country back on track? I don't know. I just know if Obama wins again, he's going to keep it off track. Sad times, my fellow Americans, sad times. So I hope that I've convinced at least one person, because that's, that would be a success if I've convinced at least one person to say, you know what, I think I understand, and rather than sit down and stay away from the polls, I'm going to get up and go vote to make sure Obama is not reelected. It's that important, my fellow Americans. It really is. Because, once again, my fellow Americans, you need to wake up and smell the tyranny.